it all welcome back to Beanie's Hobbies and as promised a little follow-up video on this Corality Sermoon V1 Pro now I did say in the previous video if you haven't watched that I leave a card like up here somewhere uh, I finished off the remaining prints that were on the card uh, which were these kiddies over this side and then I sliced and print some of my own files which are these ones over this side so we'll take a quick look at these prints that I printed off and then I will give you my final thoughts on this Sermoon V1 Pro. So, as you all saw in the last video, we printed the little Benchy, which was the first print that we done. Quality wasn't too bad, we had a few little issues with it, um, but nothing, nothing major. Um, I put that down to Corality's slicing, but like I say, the remaining files that are on the SD card from Quality actually all came out exceptionally well and then I went ahead and sliced my own and they came out even better, with the exception of one. Uh, but we'll have a look at that shortly. So, like I say, a little bench first. So, up next, as always, we had the flexible dinosaur. Print quality on this was actually very good. came out really well can't gripe about the print quality at all up next we had a whistle this was also on the SD card that came on with the printer and it is fully functioning <laughs> so yeah, we had a little whistle. Then we had this spaceman sitting on the moon. And yet again, print quality on this was exceptionally good. I'll get you guys in for a closer look. It actually came out incredibly well. And we had a paint pot, brush pot, pen holder. I have absolutely no idea what this is. But that also came out incredibly well. Another very acceptable print. And then the last file that was on the card was this turtle. Also came out incredibly well, everything moves like it should. Right, and these next three files I actually sliced myself. So I went ahead and printed this rocket. Now this was printed in spiralized mode. It is printed in PLA. You can see it's a little bit squishy. Um, we did have, down the bottom here, we had a little, little bit of blobbing, just down the bottom here. And then on the top, you can see, I don't know if it will focus. It's not going to, you can't really, as you can just see, we had a little bit of cooling a bit of an issue with the cooling, but it is quite a fine point. So I'm actually quite impressed with how that came out. Apart from that, this thing is absolutely flawless. Like I say, apart from that little bit of blobbing we had just down in this one part here, and this little piece up here with the cooling, part cooling fan. But apart from that, this little rocket actually came, came out incredibly well. And if you squeeze it too hard, it will actually break. Now, I'm going to leave that in the video just to prove to you that I did print it in spiralised mode. So it is completely hollow. So yeah, these things do break. Uh, this is obviously only printed in PLA, single line. But this thing will print in spiralised mode absolutely fine. So that's not getting cut out, guys. I'll leave these things in so you can see. Um, I printed this little Marvel... I'm not quite really sure what it is, but it was just a, like a little box. Just 
like a little Marvel box. And this also came out incredibly well. I can't fault this print in any way, shape or form. It's actually performing incredibly well. So the Marvel box. And last up, I printed this little storage container. Which also came out exceptionally well. I had no issues at all with it screwing together or unscrewing. All the detail came out incredible. This is a very, very capable, very, very good printer. So now the prints, guys. So now we're on to my thoughts about this printer. Right, so all round, this is an exceptionally good printer. It's a very, very capable printer. Um, I'm guessing Crowley have made this to keep up with, you know, the likes of Flashforge, um, their, their range of printers, which are all fully enclosed. The only downside to the Flashforge range, of course, is you're kind of stuck with those little small, tiny spools of filament because they go inside the printer. Where Crowley have actually thought about it and have made, you know, the spool holder on the outside of the printer for me, which is a big bonus. Um, my, only, my only sort of small gripe about this printer is the build is the build platform it, they could have made it a little bit bigger i mean there's there's enough room in this machine to make this build platform a little bit bigger you know 220 by 220 would have been nice um but i suppose i've made it this size to keep the actual overall size of the printer down um this is no way a cheap printer in any way shape or form this is quite expensive printer i mean it's retailing for around the 440 450 pound mark which is which is not a cheap printer but you are getting a lot of printer for your money if that makes sense yes you've only got a very small build plate but you are fully enclosed um so you can print with a wide range of filaments very easily build plate adhesion is second to none it's absolutely brilliant nothing came unstuck did have a few occasions where i actually couldn't get the print off the build plate which is it really is a good thing you know, you're not going to have a problem with anything come unstuck. Um, the camera that they've used inside this, quality-wise, is not the best. But it does give you the option of being able to monitor your prints when you're away from your printer. LED lights inside is a nice touch. That will light up the build area while it's printing. So you can actually see, you know, you can see what's going on. Direct drive extruder, the little sprite extruder that's in this thing. Works flawlessly. No issues there at all whatsoever. Um, I can't really complain at all whatsoever about this printer, apart from, like I said, like I said before, apart from the build platform, it's quite small. But, you know, print-wise, everything is printed amazingly. The quality is actually really exceptionally good. Um, like I say, I've always been using Corality Slicer with my Corality machines, because all my machines I've got in here are Corality. So, what I like about that is all the settings for this machine already pre-configured in Quality Slicer. It's basically a reskin of Cura. I've mentioned this before in a previous video, but if you're like me and you're running all Quality machines, it makes sense for me to use Quality Slicer because I've already gone ahead for me because I'm quite lazy and they have got all the good base settings for the, all the different printers that I've got here pre-configured for me. So all I have to do is just come along and just slightly tweak them to my own preference, which makes life a lot easier. So that is worth giving it a go if you're running a lot of quality machines. Um, but back to this thing, you know, it's got some nice features. It's small, it is compact. It's a lot cheaper than the Flash Forge alternatives. And you can actually get a proper size spool to fit on the side of it as well. Um, I'm guessing the end user for this printer is going to be more sort of schools, um, colleges, things like that probably not really designed too much for the end user you know in the workshop the everyday person because of the the price that Crowley have got on this thing but if you have got a little bit of spare extra cash and you are looking for a fully enclosed printer i would highly recommend to give the Moon v1 pro a look um bed leveling as i mentioned before in the previous video which i will leave a card for uh it's not difficult you will need to do it i mean Crowley on their website says print straight from the box it's an impossibility you can't print straight from the box you will need to level the bed on this printer but bed leveling is is a bit it's a bit weird <laughs> it's a bit of a faff um but once you've done and once it's saved is fine 
Also remember guys, you cannot adjust your Z offset while printing with this printer. So you are gonna to need to make sure that you have got your bed perfectly level before you start. Because once you're started, like I said, there's no adjustments that can be made. Um, but apart from that, oh, was he sad to see this go. Now obviously technology outlet over here in the UK were kind enough to send this out to me. I don't keep them of course, I just have them for a little while. Run some tests and then I'll send them back. But I'm going to be sad to see this little wee beastie go because at the end of the day it is a nice little printer. So that's it for me guys. I haven't got much more to say. I'll give this one a thumbs up. Um, it's kind of a lot better than the original set of moon, that's for sure, because for one it's actually fully enclosed. But anyway, that's it. I'm going to stop waffling on for now. Check out the previous unboxing video that I've done on this one. And I will catch you all in the next one. Cheerio!